Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here once again in Transport Fever 2. Stop rolling the map around. That's what I want to do. I want to move it slightly. Centre it. Um, yeah, we're back here with the Bristol series in Transport Fever 2. And I thought I'd start here just to give me a, an overview of where we are on the whole map. Okay, the map is a, a good deal larger than this, but... Um, this is the bit we're working on. We have focused in the last couple of episodes on the sort of north of the, the urban area, the metropolitan area of Bristol, and neglected some areas. Uh, in particular, down south here, I noticed when I was just sort of rolling around the map, I have got shocking levels of queueage going on here in Bedminster and also in Clifton here near the Clifton Down Railway Station. Uh, in fact, if I we have actually have an overlay for that, don't we? Where's the queuing one? Is it this one? Stations layer. So yes, as as you can see, uh, everything's looking very peachy and lovely light blue. Very very good. It says there on the overlay legend. But here, in Bedminster certainly, and also to a degree here, um, that's. That's, that's a little little bit of a... That, that doesn't actually seem to be complaining too much for some reason. Uh, the streets layer. Yeah, we've got our main congestion routes here. We, I'm sure, will eventually deal with those. But what I thought I would do before we get into any big new infrastructure planning and development for today is attempt to deal with these issues of queuing at these stations. We have got too many people waiting here. So this is, I think, again, the local line. Yeah, it's just the one local line there. It just goes around there. And 66 people waiting. And as it says, there's a notification there saying some passengers leave because the station is overloaded. I'm not surprised. Um, how many vehicles do we have? I don't want that. I want that. <laughs> Uh, three, we have seven small buses on there. Unfortunately, the buses are quite small. They only carry five people at a, at a time and only travel at 11 miles an hour. And it is quite hilly round here in places. Well, the, the whole map is quite hilly in places. And likewise here in Clifton. 59 people waiting there. They've not started leaving yet. And this is a particularly small and short line. <laughs> so you think, what, 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 what's going on there? Uh, why are they queuing so long there when they could... It's, it's not that long a distance. Um, actually, if we just check a few of these people. Hmm. I love that sigh they make when you click on them. So Zachary Hall is going to a commercial building in Bristol, which is the sort of city centre up there, and he's come all the way down from Patchway. Well, that's, that's quite a commute. I mean, in the real world, in, uh, in 2020, that would take you days because of all the congestion on the roads around Bristol. But let's not get into that. <laughs> so, uh, another person. What have we got? You're going, you're going residential, so you're going home uh, in Bristol. And you've come from Shirehampton or Stoke Gifford. Again, a little bit of a distance. Uh, one more. Hmm. You're going industry. You're going to work. Again from Patchway. They seem to be coming down from from Patchway. So it looks like this line here we've got from Clifton down up to Filton to, to Bristol Parkway Station is working quite nicely. You're going to Westbury on Trim. Well, again, up there using this line, presumably. So where have you... Oh, you're going to Industry in Clifton, which is just up there. You could have walked that, honestly. Right, um... So, I'm thinking, what's the best way of dealing with this issue here? We did notice, and I skipped over it just, just like I do, just politely and lightly, and just sort of left it, sat there and took no notice of it. When we started the last episode, we saw a year turnover, and a new vehicle became available, which was the tram. An electric tram, not the horse-drawn one. So I'm thinking, we might use trams to solve these congestion issues of local bus routes. Because, yeah, and, and that kind of fits in as well with Bristol's history, because Bristol certainly did have trams at some point. Um, I, I know they, I think, as far as I remember, they went around the city centre 
and the floating harbour and whatever as it was called. I mean, the, the actual water for Bristol does does come in a bit more than that. It actually went all the way to the city centre uh, initially. I'm sure there were trams around the city centre. Whether they went all the way up to Clifton or out to Bedminster, I don't know. But that's where we're going to start using them. And there's a lot of people waiting here as well. Oh, that's the train line. That's fine. Uh, it's, it's undersupplied at the moment, but we'll deal with that in due course. Okay, so let's have a look at this line. Uh, I don't want that. I want the actual bus stop because I want the line to come up. There we go. Okay, let's um, yeah, let's set down some tram lines. Uh, so we want to upgrade the road. That's it. Trams. Catenary, yes, presumably. Uh, so we're going to go this road. Right here. You can just about see the purple of the uh, of the route, which is handy. So I'm only going to tram line the bits of the route I want. Ah, and that's going to automatically add tram. Uh, tram lines and catenaries to the bus station as well. That's good. Good. Okay, now where's the return route? Uh, yeah, it comes out down here. Okay, right, so that's all catenaried. Down there, yeah, we can see that. Oh, and some of our stops do have the tram icon, tram icon on them as well. That's cool. Um, strange enough, only one. Though. Oh, maybe it means both. Uh, it's, it is one icon. It's not two icons. Sorry, I thought it was one overlaying another, but it's not. It's, it's a dual icon. Tram and buses. Right, now the one thing we don't actually have here is a, uh, it's a tram depot. Uh, I just, they've got the truck depot there, the, the road vehicle depot. Uh, I'm looking for a land overlay which is bang in the middle of the residential area. <clears throat> which is a little unsightly, really. It'd be nice, perhaps, if we, yeah, if we stuck it out here. Actually, that makes sense. If we can stick it out here, yeah, and feed trams in from from there. Okay. Uh, am I going to do much with that spit of land? No, probably not. No. Okay. So let's uh, get ourselves a tram depot. There we go. <clears throat> oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Actually, <laughs> uh, and it's those blessed hills again. And that's quite expensive. Can I make it cheaper? I do have half a million in the bank already, so I can just about fit it in there for a bit less. Oh, the the oh, yeah, that's. Yep, that will do nicely. Okay, so we do still need to upgrade a little bit of... Whoops, a little bit of road. Uh, that's uh, you. And you. Okay. I didn't really want to get rid of that line, but we have, so <laughs> I'll bring it back in a moment. Let's buy the vehicles. Uh, okay, so these are Viennese trams rather than Bristolian, or in any sense English or British. But... They're going to do the job for us. Okay, the capacity is far is eleven, so that's twice that's more than twice as much as our current uh, Obisin, Lobisin, uh buses will carry, and they go, yeah, again fifty percent faster or thereabouts. So that's good. So how many? I do want that line actually. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, so we've got on there seven. Yep, yeah, seven buses. So, four or five of these will do, won't they? I can, I've got f less, just like, just under half a million in the bank, so I could spend that. Yep, yeah, let's go five. Let's go five. Okay, and we'll put them on the Bedminster Southfield line, which is trammed up. Okay, now one thing I don't want to do, particularly if I can help it, is to lose too much money uh, on these buses. I'd like to get some money for these last few passengers these buses will carry. So we'll selectively take these out of operation. 
Uh, where did one, three, four go? Oh, there. You go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, so we will take you out. You're only carrying two people. Uh, where are you going? You're going to North Street. I will take you out. There's only three people. Uh, everyone else is carrying more. So you're going to North Street. Which direction are you going in, my dear? You're going that way. To North Street. Where's North Street? <laughs> uh, have I got the... Oh. You're going to North Street. Hang on, let's get this back in view. Oh, you're good. Yeah, sorry, you're driving on the wrong si side of the road, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, we'll let you pick up some people from there. But why are all those people moving around? Curious. Uh, oh, we won't worry, worry about you. You've delivered to the station. We'll take you out. Uh, you're going to the station as well. You're going to North Street. In which direction? Okay, we'll let you drop your people off. Wait for this guy to deliver his cargo there, then we'll sell you. And the people at the bus stop can wait for the tram to arrive. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now, Clifton. This is a, this is a silly short route. Now, the, the I could... There's only four vehicles on there. I, I assumed it wouldn't be that busy, obviously. There is a bus depot all the way over there in Redcliffe. Uh, and they'll take ages, well, relatively ages, to get through there. So we could add more buses, but why not put a tram on there? And we could actually extend the tram line into Brandon Hill Station. Yeah, that's only using one of the two terminals there. So I could. That be that would be a useful thing to do, I think. To extend, to connect those two train stations. Let's have a look at the line setup we've got here. Buses, that's what I want. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have a bus route which goes just from Hot Wells, Jacob Wells Road there, into the central bus station, so we can leave that. So having a, extending this yellow line into the Brandon Hill bus stop, bus station, um, shouldn't compromise that too much, I think. Yeah, we could do that. Let us do that. Uh, so, again, let's tram this, uh, this road up. Hopefully it will, because yeah, some of these roads. <laughs> this is very true of Clifton and Hotwells, well, Clifton in, in particular, and, and that that part of the city. Um, the roads are very narrow and windy. Let me take you up there. You haven't electrified. There you go. You're electrified. Um. Yeah, I think that will work. So, what did I? I missed. I did the wrong bit of road there, didn't I? Yeah. So if we go around there, that should work. So how are you going to get to uh, to Alma Vale Road? You are going to need to go around here, I think, aren't you? Yeah, that's a nice little loop, I think. Right, so we need a another tram depot. Let's just have a check where our buildings are. Okay, we could fit this in here. I think I don't think I'll be putting much else beyond that train station. So slipping that in there shouldn't compromise any any plans I have. 
<laughs> on the assumption I am making plans, of course. Yeah. Uh, right, so that's that done. Um, so, yeah, let's buy vehicles then. Uh, how many of these trams do we want? Uh, three. So, one of these is two of those. So, that's, yeah, another 50% capacity. Let's put four on there. Oh, I didn't even check out the bank balance, but I do. Oh, someone's making money here. Uh, new line. Why is it going... Oh, it's going up to Hampton Park. Oh, I hadn't realised... Oh, fool. Right, let's uh, electrify that bit as well. Right, yeah, so that little stretch there was ki is kind of redundant, but there you go. <laughs> Sometimes you make mistakes. Right, gotcha. Right, so you're going on that line. And we did plan to manage the line, so we're adding in Jake's well Jacob Wells Road. We'll add in Brandon Hill Station there. Yeah, it's quite a trek back to Hampton Park for the tram, but that should be okay. Yep, that's nice. I, I think I'm happy with that. Good, good. All right, so let's watch these vehicles. Oh, I need to move them out of the way, don't I, so I can see all of them. Any of them about to drop off? Let's keep an eye on them. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll wipe them out. I won't put you through having to wait for me to, to get rid of these, these little old buses. So here we are. Just got rid of all the buses on this line. We're still Clifton down local. And there's our damp tram. Lovely sounding thing. It looks a little bit <laughs> primitive, but what the heck? It gets people around, 11 people around. It's already full. It's come from the Brandon Hill station off to Alma Vale Road. Uh, yeah, the the capacity, the, uh, the queuing at that station is already Minimize. Oh, it's going. That's Jacob's Wells Road, isn't it? I'm, I'm getting confused over where everybody is here. So, oh, it oh it slows down. In, oh, it's still got this <laughs> this huge. Hill. I don't know how much faster it will be if it didn't have to. That person is walking. Well, she's going downhill. To be honest, it's going faster than the tram. It's these horses, they're still clogging up my city. Um, anyway, so yeah, we've got rid of all the the buses now on those two routes, so they're they're taken care of quite nicely. Now, oh, I am earning too much money. Look at that. I've got a million already in just a few days. We are now in the early days of 1880. Uh, we, you didn't see the year pass over, but it did. And we've got a few new wagons, basically, for uh, transporting goods, uh, which I may use sometime soon, but possibly not in this episode. Right now. The grand plan for today, I don't know if we'll finish it all in time, uh, I don't want to, we'll see how long this episode takes to, to get through, how, how much of a mess I make of it to start with. Now, the uh, we've started introducing real freight, real cargo up here north of the city and into Pilning, uh, where's Pilning, up here and also into Filton down here, so that's fuel and tools. Now we see the tools are needed down here as well in the city, as indeed is fuel. Uh, right here in the centre of the city, uh, and Stoke Gifford here, as we know, has a demand for fuel. So what I'm thinking of is to extend some lines around here. So we could start introducing goods and indeed other passengers into this side of the city. Uh, so that's the west of the city. And what I'm thinking is in reality 
There is a rail line which goes Clifton Down, Shirehampton, Avonmouth, Seven Beach. Um, I'm not sure if that one crosses the water um, to go to, to Chepstow and Cardiff and stuff. I'm, I'm, I can't honestly remember. But so we, we might try and replicate that. Although, as you can see, these towns are very close. So having a, a train service for passengers may not be the, the most profitable solution. Um, and indeed, this train line actually does connect to Bristol Temple Mees, but there's no way I can afford that just yet. <laughs> so uh, so what we, that's what we can do, I think. Oh, sorry, the one thing I, the one thing I was going to say there, which is why I started that particular train of thought, was uh, there are docks around here. Um, Portbury, obviously, really. Uh, Avon Mouth. This is the River Avon here, um, I think. <laughs> so... Um, We'll want to make sure we've got room for a docks here and onward cargo transport by train. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that dock will be used for as yet, but I want to make sure we've got room for it. So, what I'm planning to do... Oh, you'll see what I'm planning to do. Let's, I'll make it a surprise. Um, but you can tell now by where I'm focusing my, my attention. I want to run a train line along here, along the riverbank. Okay, let's see if we can fit that in. To do this, I think we need to get rid of because I want to. I want the station to go in here. Do I just actually just check that? Yeah, that makes sense. The commercial and industrial is down here, so it makes sense having the noisy, smoky train station down this side of the town. Well, that works out very well, actually. <laughs> so. We're going to need a bit more room for a train station, I think, down here. Certainly if we want three stations, uh, Clifton, Shirehampton and Avonmouth. So, uh, let's get rid of some of this. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of too much in the way of buildings. I don't want to spend too much money unnecessarily. That might be enough room. I just snip off the end of these streets by doing that. Okay, and also here as well, I think. Yeah, let's actually we don't, let's not get rid of all of it. We might, if I actually, let's see if I can drag that road. Down there. That, that's quite. That'd be quite a nice, fun drive, actually, wouldn't it? Down and up. Yeah, you can really race down there. It's what I would have done as a kid on my bicycle. Just up. You need to click OK to commit the build. Okay, and then I can demolish that bit there and here. There we go. Right. A station. Now, do I want this to be passenger or cargo, one or other or both? Can we make it both? Uh, let's, if I slip that. Actually, that's not too... None of these are too expensive. If I slip that in there. That works quite nicely, doesn't it? And it's not too expensive. Now that's... Oh, I want a, a proper British one, of course. Uh, we'll make it brown, which I think is our colour du jour. Uh, 160, that's fine. And... Should I put two... Tr let's... We'll, we'll build it out from here, see what happens, I think. See how many tracks we can put in. Okay, let's, that's committed. Gosh. <laughs> so, can I get tracks? Actually, what we'll do, we'll configure the station to start with and put two tracks in there. I think either way we're going to want two. 
Yeah, I think that should be okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. And some proper ordinary running track. Yeah, there's a bit of an incline here. <laughs> Once again. Uh, uh, we're, going, we're going to need that bridge, aren't we? To get up there. But if I take you to there, bring you out. It's a little bit close to the edge. Now, the one thing, I, could we make that an embankment? <clears throat> we could. We could. It looks... Actually, it doesn't look that horrible, to be honest. But uh, it does raise the bank there. Good question. If I make that a bridge, we get... Because that... Either way, it will suffer from subsidence, won't it? There's a risk of there. I mean, the Avon. I don't. I think the Avon. Yeah, I think it does. That there is. It's fairly tidal. I think. Yeah, we're going to need to curve that up there, and it'll go round to get into Clifton Down. Okay. I'm so. I'm so tempted. Yeah, let's let's make it an embankment. It cost me a lot more, but we've done that now. And likewise, you. Good. Right, we're going to have to get that into Clifton Down, so I'm going to need to configure at least one more platform here. Uh, we want some more track, I think. Uh, platforms. Uh, we were brown. Here, weren't we? Yep, yeah, that seems to match up. There we go. Uh, we ought to have an underpass so people can walk between the two. Ah, no. It's on the platform here, isn't it? In this particular mod. Again, a reminder, although you probably already know this, is all these mods are in a Steam collection. Uh, and I've put a link into my collection in the description below. So if you want to check out these mods for yourself, uh, perhaps add them to your game, then just you can check it out there. A little bit of a canopy. Okay. And so let's go back to tracking. So put this. What if we just draw it straight round to there? To be honest, I'm, I'm thinking 350,000 isn't that expensive? <laughs> no, but I do need more money. There we go. Uh, I need that track again. There we are. And the next question, I, <laughs> I kind of preempted it here by double tracking this segment. Should I double track it all the way? I might as well. It doesn't it's not that far, is it? And we could well end up with a fair number of services, both cargo and passenger coming into this station. Okay, that's excellent. Now Avonmouth we could put a dock in here, I think, almost anywhere. One of my sort of fanciful ideas is to stick it here with a train station directly behind it. I think that, because of the contour issues, that might be difficult to... It might not be difficult to achieve, but it could be difficult to make it look good. Or we could have the boats, ships coming in here. Uh, actually, if we have the boats, if we have a train station here that curved round to Seven Beach, again, sort of more coastal than inland, they would have to, yeah, I think I'd have to put it up here. Uh, 
So where do we want to put that station? I think the problem with having it down, down there would be the tight curve it would need to make coming around this side of Avonmouth. If we put the dock in there, we could have the trains going above the water. A bridge. Ooh, that's an idea. Now, do we want separate stations for passengers and cargo? We might do that, actually. We might well do that. So what I could do is I could have a passenger station on one side of the water and a cargo station on the other side. Oh, I'm liking that idea. I am. Right, so if we're going to fit a train station in here, we could fit two tracks in there just about, I think, but that road is a little close. Uh, can I take that road back up just a little bit, just a touch, a smidgen? Just give me a little bit more room to work with. That's going to be a fairly tight curve anyway, but it shouldn't be too onerous. Okay, splendid. I mean, I could have put two platforms down to start with, to be honest. I'm not sure why I don't do that. Um... Actually, we'll leave it as one for the moment. We'll leave it as one for the moment. Because uh, we're only going to have trains at this point in the game just going up to Avonmouth. Uh, so, uh, rather than carrying on beyond. So we just need the one platform for them to arrive in. Uh, streets, that's what I was after. Uh, can I run you along there? I can. And to there. And to the bus depot. It's an awkward junction, but that's what happens in the UK. We have awkward road junctions. Uh, could I connect you up for the purposes of a bus route, perhaps? Or get people to come into the town. Or to the station, rather, not the town. They're, all, they're already in the town. Uh, that's a bit of a long route, but... Yeah, we're cover covering a modest chunk of the town. But we could cover more. We'll deal with that later. But let's focus. Let's keep concentrating on the train. So we want a train line going around here. Close to, but not touching. You see, 48. That's not too terrible, I think. Uh, I think we can live with that. Yeah, there we go. I'll run you. Oh, another little bridge. 170. That's very reasonable, I think, for that length of track. We'll put a little bit of a bridge in there. Which one should we use? Yeah, that looks quite nice. Oh, that's not too bad a price at all. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, do we need to double track this? I think we probably ought to. We can do that from there I think not that we're going to have two trains running down here anytime soon to be honest but you know okay we'll use our UK signalling of course because that's uh, what it should be there we go um, and down here uh, actually we want it this way around There. Oh, we'll put signals halfway along as well. Again, not we're going to have many trains running along here any time soonish. Uh, just to repeat myself. Okay, now the next big issue we've got is where? How the heck are we going to get trains down here? <laughs> so, um, I think the best so, because we have got a depot up here in Filton. Have we still got that? 
Now I've taken that depot away, haven't I? The depot is all the way up here in Pilning. Or Armandsbury, whichever it claims to be. Oh, heck, that is an awfully long way away. Perhaps... If I put one here in Avonmouth, because this is going to be a, this is a major kind of industrial centre. We're going to have boats and trains and all sorts of stuff going on here. So I think, yeah, a depot out here makes sense. Definitely. Uh, now, if we can, we put it in here, say. And will I then be able to I'd like it to be sort of lined up parallel with that bit of road for no particularly good reason, but is that going to let me get to the track? <laughs> well, let's spend the money and find out. Uh, tracks. Okay. Actually. Construction not possible. I think you'll find it is. There you are. Excellent. Right. So we're going to have a brand new passenger route for the time being. We'll introduce cargo uh, in a bit. So a new line from Clifton Down, Shirehampton, Avonmouth. Let's see how this works. Okay, and what we'll call this one. It's actually going to go all the way up to Seven Beach. So I'm going to name it like that now. So we're going to call it the Seven Beach Line. It will be eventually Honest Gov. Right, so what little trains do we want to put on there? Uh, I'm going to need more than one million in the bank though. Let's take out lots of money so I don't get embarrassed when I make my choice of vehicle. I have to go back to the bank. Right, it's not going to it's not going to need great speed or power. Oh, there are inclines there, but I think they're they're controlled. The cauliflower class. That's that's a 45. That's an okay speed. The power is quite good. You're less powerful, but you could go a bit faster. I actually quite like the look of you. And you're a good deal cheaper. Yeah, I think 30 is to 50. That's quite good. Actually, how do you compare to the, the tank? You're not that much more expensive. And you're that little bit more powerful. Yeah, let's go for you. We'll take one of you. And the passenger wagons we want to put on here. Uh, you're too fast, you're too fast. You guys are far too fast. 60. 31, that's too slow. 52. That's very reasonable, isn't it? And you're a much more reasonable price. Now you can go 50, you carry five people, you carry seven. Yeah, let's do these. So what choices do we have? We have a front brake, we'll add one of you. We've got first class, so we'll add one of you. That gives me 14 people. Uh, a third class. Let's let's put four on here. It's it's a, it's a bit overkill, I think, for the moment, but it might well take off. And we'll add a rear brake at the end. That's uh, less than two and a half million. That is a bargain. Right, and it's there. Let's get you rolling. Let's uh, repay all that loan that we didn't actually need. And let's get some buses set up around about these towns. Just to make sure we can get people in there. Uh, Avonmouth, you can just have bus stop, bus, uh, bus signs, bus stops without a 
a shelter for the time being, I think. Uh, actually, we'll put one down here by the station, but elsewhere uh, we'll just put these little bus stops. looks good okay and we will call this one Avon mouth circle line uh, and I'm going to need to buy <laughs> oh I've, we've already got a, a road vehicle depot so we will put some lobby sand on there uh, just four for the moment I think that's more than enough and in Shire Hampton aha Right, now we do have a bus route which takes people from Shirehampton to the Clifton Down station. Uh, actually, if I can click on that, I can show you it precisely. There it goes. Uh, that's kind of redundant now. We've got a train service, so which is already carrying no people. But then again, it's not very well connected. So let's wrap that up a little bit. Uh, okay. So let me stick you in there. I'm going to need to delete that building. But, you know, that's that's progress, my friends. So, tough. <laughs> Can I? I think the contours are going to be not going to work in my favour here, uh, though, if I take that out there, can I then, that's an appalling piece of road work, isn't it? No, I'll let the game do that if it wants to. <laughs> so, Right, uh, so we need to repurpose this uh, Shirehampton Clifton line. Uh, so we need uh, bus stops down here. There you go. And up here as well, I think. Possibly, yeah, round there. Okay, let's see how that works. So, uh, we want to manage this line. Uh, we want to go, we're not going to Alma Vale Road anymore. We want to add that stop there. We'll take Portway out, so it starts here at Mill Lane, bus station, uh, sorry, the train station. Then there, there. And there. Excellent. We'll just rename it the Shirehampton Loop. Do we need that many buses on there? Uh, no, so we'll get rid of one. Get rid of two. So we just got four on there for now. See how that pans out. Okay. I love how much money I'm making, sort of. Right, there's our train. Let's follow our latest beautiful locomotive into the newly upgraded Clifton Down station. Are there people waiting? I'm not seeing anyone. Slightly disappointing, but there you are. That's the way of it. And off he goes. Right, so that's it, I think. Hopefully he will pick somebody up in Shirehampton and take them all the way out there to Avonmouth and then start bringing people back and making money. But that's it for me, I think. We'll finish this one here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. 
If you have, it'd be lovely to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be great. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Uh, other than that, of course, if you've got anything to say, uh, a criticism, a suggestion, a recommendation, whatever, would be lovely to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. Other than that, I actually, I need to work on this line a bit. I need a second platform. Dope. <laughs> Other than that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.